the Southern Ocean, an uninterrupted belt of strong winds and stormy waters surrounding the Antarctic continent. The closest continent to South African coastlines is home to one of the largest seasonal changes on Earth. Every year, Antarctica doubles its size and gets virtually, or ideally, closer to the African continent. Sea ice forms from the freezing of surface oceanic waters in cold atmospheric conditions. The ocean, and especially the sea ice, I mean, both together, they are a key component of the Earth climate system. Um, particularly the, the sea ice and the ocean are actually impacted by climate change, and they may also amplify those changes. Sea ice helps a lot to mediate the amount of energy coming from the sun. So it acts as uh, some sort of layer that covers the ocean, and then uh, it shelters the ocean from the sun rays. So without sea ice, there would be less radiation or less sunlight that's reflected back out, and that would make our global temperatures rise. And with sea ice, you have that regulation of us keeping our temperatures lower than it would be without sea ice. South Africa is very close to Antarctica, so it is in the interest of the country to know, to have a more, more advanced research on the ice. Any change in the Antarctic climate actually affects South Africa as well. When sea ice grows, there's heat that's lost and gained from the atmosphere and the ocean, and that makes sea ice very sensitive to changes in the atmosphere and the ocean. So sea ice would be an excellent early indicator of climate change, and that's why studying sea ice is important. It's very expensive to go down to get um, pieces of, of, of real Antarctic sea ice. So what we do here is we develop a way to make sea ice that resembles the ice that we would find in Antarctica. Uh, I make artificial seawater and then freeze that to look at the way in which sea ice grows depending on changes in the surrounding atmosphere. Essentially, we have to build our own ice that is as close as possible in terms of parameters to the actual sea ice. All my students right now, before they test a physical or a mechanical property, they first have to build a sea ice with the variables that they're con concentrating on and then do the testing on those samples. Ice cores are tested by engineers to analyze the mechanical properties of sea ice, including its strength, elasticity, porosity, and permeability. Satellites can be used to measure sea ice variations Direct measurements are essential to verify satellite data, but they are hard to obtain, especially in winter. It's also very important understanding or being able to assess these satellites that retrieve the, the CS concentration that we, we trust so heavily. And because these satellites were developed for the Arctic and not the Antarctic, we need to understand what these implications are and how this affects the, the information we're getting about climate change with respect to Antarctica. As long as you have the drive and the will, you know, you need to know what you want. And once you know what you want, you have to simply push it to the end until you can make it happen. I know there might be a lot of um, reticence from uh, maybe African students to somehow be also uh, going to those places. Uh, the truth is those places are not dangerous and they're, they're challenging like any other place you can go. It's very much as if uh, you have a project to do somewhere in the uh, equatorial forest. So um, I would just encourage everyone, especially uh, African students, to be more involved. 